This is my short review. Actually, just about the accuracy of this QQQ infrared thermometer. Bought this in 2017. It's five years, five, six years later. Finally doing a short commentary about it. Go into memory. Uh, I did five readings of my left and right ears. So that's one time, two times, th third time, fourth, and fifth. You can see it can range anywhere from 97.5 all the way to 98. And when I use the infrared for my forehead, this is either touching or non-touching. It's a little more accurate when it's touching my forehead, but when it's not, it's still around the same. I'm assuming this one is the one where I was touching my forehead, 97.8. It's still off by 0.8. And this is when it was not touching my forehead. It's off by 1.2. So this thing, for me, was doing readings that were below the actual value. So the lowest would be like 97.4, even have a 96.3 over here. Uh, so if you do end up somehow getting one of these, I have a second one because uh, these were like literally just $12 each with coupon code. Um, still use them from time to time, but we, we've purchased more accurate uh, thermometers, infrared th thermometers. Just uses AAA batteries, and this pops out like this. If you pull it from the sides, it comes out. Um, for twelve dollars, obviously, I'm not expecting a whole lot, but just in terms of readings, again, this is usually measures below anywhere from probably half a degree to one degree below, depending on how you use it. So uh, I wish there was a way to calibrate it, but it's fine. No problems. Just wanted to make this commentary in case you get this and you're wondering if it's broken or not. It's not if it's reading half a half degree to one degree lower than usual.